Aaron was our oldest son. Uh, he was 26 years old. He was driving the vehicle. Um, really don't know what happened. Um, you know, Stephen has no memory of the accident, but we'll never know. There was just too much damage to find out. We first heard uh, when we got a knock on our door about one o'clock in the morning. Uh, there were two county, uh, Roanoke County police officers that uh, were standing at the door. And at that point, they uh, proceeded to tell us what had happened. And then you feel the shock and the and just uh, almost terror start going through you, and and you start reacting to that. We finally got ourselves together enough to go to the hospital, and then once we got there. We were asked to go to a consultation room. That's when everything set in that this was really reality. They prepared us. They told us, um, you know, that he was, you know, cut up, uh, you know, uh, from the head injuries and, and those kind of things. But um, we were just so thankful to see him and know that he was alive. First thing for me, it was just like, even though he had no clue as to what was going on, I just told myself I had to be strong for him. But internally, I was just, I just didn't think there was much hope at that time because he was so critical. You get the speech of the next 48 hours, I think yeah. they said was the most critical. Yeah, that was, uh, I think that was the hardest thing to hear that um, you, you want to have hope, but at the same time, you know, they, you, you realize later they have to be uh, honest with you and tell you, that, you know, that where he's actually at. So uh, that, that was hard to hear. He was uh, under heavy sedation, and then he was put into a coma, uh, medically induced coma at that point. So not a lot of, uh, of alertness then. Uh, it was afterwards when they started taking him out of the, the chemically induced coma that he started um, uh, waking up. I really don't remember anything about the accident. I do remember waking up in the hospital and just kind of going in and out. The first moment of him waking up and realizing we were there was actually his mom. I grabbed her uh, hand and um, told her he loved her uh, and voiced that. And, and that, uh, was, that was a very special moment for him. The experience uh, was just fantastic from the start. Of course, a lot of confusion on our part, not knowing what he was going through. Um, the doctors really took their time uh, explaining things to us. Uh, the nurses uh, were uh, just fantastic. I mean, just the whole cheerleading approach and, and not only taking care of Stephen, but for us as well. And yeah, One of the first things I remember was um, uh, Dr. Collier, when he, when he came in and and you know he looked at C and said, "Well, we're taking care of him, so now we're going to take care of you." For the medical staff to take time to to even add the personal touch. Yeah, and we just and just when we would finally would leave to come home uh, to get some rest, you know, to get that phone call, not not to say that something bad was happening. We just want to tell you what what good's happening tonight. What did, what is was he doing? And this is what happened. Just wanted to let you guys know and. You know, I think they knew that that was going to help us put our uh, head on our pillow and, and have a good night's sleep, so we needed that. So, yeah. We felt a lot of love, uh, and um, we, we felt that uh, a lot of compassion uh, and uh, just a real desire to see, to see him get better. Now, when he got to PCU, that's when things started happening for him. Uh, he started going through some therapy there in the bed, and we got to, to watch that. And we got to see the progression of things, you know, tubes getting removed and certain medications going away. And um, we could just tell that he was becoming more and more alert. Well, we felt more hopeful, of course, as parents. And just sitting up for like 30 minutes was huge for him because at that point that's pretty much all he could do. Um, so just watching him do those first, we were just celebrating every little thing. There were times he would just reach out for our, and to hug them you know, and just say thank you in, in the only way he could. The nurses were definitely cheering him on for different goals and objectives that he needed to meet. And um, we were just looking forward to knowing the next step was rehab for him. I guess my therapist, I really enjoy it, working with him. and He makes it challenging. He's just really uh, specialized in what he does. For me, it was just the professionalism of everyone and just, um, you know, the level of care. I, 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 you know, I don't know if 
if we're just blessed in the Roanoke Valley to have great health care givers uh, that uh, seem to really love what they do uh, and want to be there and are just passionate and we really felt like family. We really, you know, felt like truly everybody cared that, you know, that they wanted to see him get up and go. Uh, and, um, you know, so it was, it was like having our own cheerleading squad up there. Well, he continues to inspire and amaze us. He's always looking at the positive. He's starting to show independence, uh, and he wants to be independent. He wants to be his own person and, and uh, do go back to doing the things that he liked to do. The biggest thing right now is my arm. Still waiting on it to come back. And like I'm wearing the splint and everything for it because my fist likes to clench up, so it keeps everything stretched out. And then my leg, wearing the bionest to help uh, for the foot drop. Uh, before the accident, I was a big hiker, so I've been able to get back into that and been up to McAfee's Knob a few times. All this is happening really fast, um, but we're thankful for how far he's come and realize that with his determination, there's a lot more to be seen. A year ago, we saw him where he couldn't move a centimeter and um, needing be lifted out of bed with mechanical assistance and uh, see him hiking now and doing those things is just amazing. I just know from my situation if I would have given up I wouldn't have gotten this far and just know you always have to keep pushing and stay strong. I think that's the biggest thing I've learned from all this. You wouldn't wish this on anybody uh, to go through um, but as a family uh, we could not have asked for better care for our son. Um, and I just want to be able to say thank you from the bottom of our heart. I don't believe he, he would be here today if he would not gotten the level of care that he got uh, at the hospital here.